and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Generation 1 Galvatron and I love this toy. Now really quick before I move on with the review I need to address something, I've been getting a lot of comments about this. Uh, no guys, unfortunately my lens is not dirty, I wish it was as simple as that. Uh, I dropped my phone and now I've got a couple of dead pixels on, on my screen and um, yeah, it's driving me crazy too. Every time I edit a video, every time I see one of my videos with those specs on there, it's driving me nuts, uh, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to go buy a whole new phone uh, just because I'm missing a couple of, spe uh, of pixels on my screen. Uh, my phone is still relatively new. So uh, yeah, unfortunately the specs are going to be there for a little bit until I get a new phone. So uh, all right, moving on. Uh, Transformers Generation 1 Galvatron originally released in 1986 and retailed for approximately $20. And uh, he is a triple changer. So he's going to have three forms. The first one of which we're looking here is the cannon mode and uh, or tank mode, uh, I guess you could call, some people call it. Uh, which is really, really cool. You're going to hear a lot of sounds of the 80s of the future. So uh, here in cannon mode, Galvatron is approximately 12 inches long. And uh, yeah, we're going to call him a cannon, even though he's got these threads. As you can see, he's got some tank threads here. He also had those in the cartoon. Uh, he does have wheels. So there's wheels down here and wheels at each of the threads. So he can roll. Uh, he doesn't roll that great especially since this joint is kind of loose and it won't stay in place. But um, he, he does roll, but it's not something that you could just, you know, fling across the table and, and expect them to get there. Um, so, yeah, it's a futuristic uh, cannon of sorts there, as you can see. Uh, he is missing a couple of stickers. I am going to have to get those replaced. Uh, but a very cool, realistic cannon. Uh, that we got here now he does have some lights and sounds as I mentioned there is a switch back here where you can change the sounds this uh, button here is going to activate the sounds and there's also a trigger on the bottom which we're going to address later and uh, there's a blinking LED or not it's not an LED it's actually a small bulb uh, right in here where his um, cannon is at and that's just going to blink so with the uh, switch in the first position there we're just going to press on this button right here and <laughs> there it is, the future. That's what the future sounded like back in uh, 1986. And there's a three position switch, so we're going to move that to the center and uh, hear the next sound. That one really drives my dogs crazy. I'm surprised they're not barking right now. And uh, and my wife like, loves it too. And then position three. There you go. So out of the three sounds, I find the first one to be the least annoying. So there you go. Uh, Galvatron in uh, tank mode or, yep, tank mode, cannon mode, whatever you want to call it. Now, he also turned into a handheld gun and uh, transformation into that was relatively simple. It's kind of like an in-between mode. So you're going to want to take the tank threads, turn them around and then bring these up all the way just like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and unpack these, turn them around and bring them up. Straighten these back up and then bring down the handle. And there is your gun mode, which I'm going to have to back up for. So, not a very convincing gun mode, I suppose. Laser pistol of sorts. And like I mentioned, you've got this trigger right down here. So, you can press on that trigger. And there go the sounds, just like so. So, there it is, Galvatron in. Uh, <laughs> handgun mode. We were not allowed to bring these to school growing up. Uh, the school that I was in, back in the 80s, boys and girls, we were actually allowed to bring toys to school and we would play with them. Uh, but when it came to Transformers, we were not allowed to bring anything that resembled a gun. I guess that's kind of still like it is today. But uh, back then it was, you know, we were allowed to bring Megatron, Shockwave, and Galvatron to school as long as they stayed in robot mode. If you transformed them in the gun mode, you were going to lose them. So... It's just the way it was back then. So now transformation into robot mode. We're pretty much already there. Go ahead and pull out the uh, cannon from the top here. We're going to set that aside for now. Uh, take the back of the cannon here. We're going to pull this out. And this is going to extend all the way. Separate. These are going to become our legs. Unpeg them from the bottom. Reach underneath here and pull out the toes. Uh, go ahead and bring these little side boxes down and turn it around 180 right there at the waist. Just our camera. 
and I don't think he is going to fit in camera in uh, complete robot mode. So the, uh, let's see, this uh, purple thing in the back here is kind of like a sight or such. Uh, we're going to unclip that, bring that all the way up, and then that's going to allow us to bring this whole chest piece down, revealing the head. And then at this point, we can take the handle, bring it all the way up, and just let it rest on that purple piece. Uh, bring these arm or uh, shoulder pieces up. Um, go under the arms here and uh, push on these tabs. This is going to bring out the little forearms, little tiny forearms. And there I go, pressing the button. And uh, go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Bring that out. And there is Galvatron in robot mode. I got to back him way up. Now, we're going to give him his cannon. So we took this off of him earlier. We're going to bring in this piece. This is an extra piece that he came with. And the sole purpose of this is to mount the cannon to his arm. So this guy is just going to slot right in there. And then this piece is just going to clip right onto his bicep. There's a little slots right there on his bicep. And uh, you're supposed to be able to do it on either side. But um, in the you know in the cartoon, he only ever wore his cannon on his uh, right arm. So... I'm doing my best to get them all in camera here. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. And then one last weapon. He also came with this uh, laser gun here. So, which you never saw in the movie or cartoons. But whatever, we're going to give him his laser gun. And there is Galvatron in robot mode. Here in robot mode, Galvatron is approximately 10 inches long. Which he did quite a bit of growing uh, as far as the body goes. But the cannon is still longer because this was sticking up out of his head earlier. So, uh, massive, massive figure. Just so you can see how big he is. Uh, here he is standing next to a current Voyager that's on shelves right now. So, yeah, massive, massive figure. Really Really cool, fun figure. Uh, for articulation goes, not a whole lot going on here. Uh, let me take off his gun just, just so I can uh, demonstrate. So you've got a little bit of uh, in and out on the shoulder. And you've got rotation here at the shoulder as well. And then at, he, at, at the elbow, you can turn it at the elbow, which uh, is kind of weird because his forearm being as tiny as it is, that's, that's really all, you can, all you're going to get. And it's not going to allow you to really hold the gun in any uh, way that he's going to be able to shoot it. So, yeah, you may as well just leave the arm straight down and then peg his gun in and then use, use it that way if you're going to aim at somebody. But he is Galvatron, so if he's going to shoot at anybody, he's going to do it like this. So, there you go. And I guess you could bring his arm out a little bit. You're going to see that cavity in there, but, I, you know, if you don't bring it out too much, it won't look horrible. So you can do that and then use that to uh, shoot at smaller Autobots uh, like such and uh, just destroy them. Get out of here. You died in the movie. What are you doing in season three? So there you go. <laughs> very, very cool figure. And again, you can still um, you can still use the lights and sounds right here using the button on a scratch. So just press on this little belly button to get his lights and sounds. You can still reach behind him. And uh, it's a little harder to get to now. But if you move this out of the way, the switch is still here. So you can still use that to uh, change his sounds right back there. You can still use the trigger also. And then if you notice, now he's also got sounds or lights at the eyes. The eyes are also lighting up now, making him look even uh, more sinister and evil. So, yeah, there you go. Very awesome figure. Glad I finally got my hands on one of these. I love, love, love this Galvatron. I've almost, almost got all of the... Uh, Decepticon handguns. I only need a six shot. So, all right. I think that about covers Transformers Generation 1 Galvatron. What did you think of this figure? And what would you like to see me review next? Let me know by leaving me a comment. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.